Tung Sui Hing Pachana Restaurant, creator of famous legend of goose noodles, duck noodles and stewed goose in clay pot or baked goose leg in charcoal stove clay pot, delicious food that is harder to find to eat. They have been creating delicious dishes for over 40 years and got a spot in the Bib Gourmand Michelin Guide Thailand for three years straight from 2018 to 2020. If you love Thai food, please subscribe, like, share, and comment so you don't miss any exclusive content that dig deeps into more Thai food than anywhere else. Sawas D. Krub and welcome to Thai Food Universe during Thai Food Near Me Part. My name is Doi T. Rapas. Today we're taking you to see Tung Sui Hing Pachana Restaurant, creator of famous legend of goose noodles, duck noodles and stewed goose in clay pot or baked goose leg in charcoal stove clay pot, delicious food that is harder to find to eat. They have been creating delicious dishes for over 40 years and got a spot in the Bib Gourmand Michelin Guide Thailand for three years straight from 2018 to 2020. Palo is a Chinese cooking style that is well known all over China and also well known in Thailand as well. Palo in Thai is a word from Hokkien Chinese, Palo. It is one of the steps to cook Palo meat which that is to braise brown sugar until melted in pan, add salt, soy sauce, meat, or other spices and stir to combine. When the color is nice, add spice and water, then braise until cooked. If it is duck or goose, lemongrass, and galangal will be added to erase smell. Scald with palo water, then keep it boiling in palo water. Word lo and tea at you Chinese and word lu and mandarin mean dark colored soon. Adding spices, salt, and soy sauce, used to cook meat until the its color become brownish red. Palo in Chinese is categorized into Northern Palo and Southern Palo, for Southern Palo can be categorized further as Sichuan Palo, Cantonese Palo, Chaozhou Palo and Hakka Palo, which in this group. Sichuan Palo is the most famous one especially pork ribs Palo. Palo in each town has its own unique identity, for example, Suzhou Palo is sweet, Shandong Palo looks red and is salty, Sichuan Palo smell nice and spicy, and Tiachu Palo is red and has nice smell. Spice recipe or palo ingredients has varieties. Famous palo ingredients are cinnamon, clove, anise, dried mandarin orange skin, coriander seeds, caraway, grass jelly, arhat fruit, pepper, Sichuan chili, licorice, sanging, and high leaves. Other than that, there are ingredients like shallot, garlic, coriander root, dried ginger, cardamom sand ginger and bustard cardamom. Good palo need to have 5 tastes by using 5 kinds of Chinese spices, 5 spice powder. Palo cooked by Thais, is cooked more easily, by using only few Chinese spices and not too much, mostly anise and cinnamon. In Tiachu, it is popular to make goose palo and duck palo by eating with sauce made from chopped garlic with vinegar.
Leftover palo water from boiling goose and duck will be used to boil pork leg, entrails, blood, and lastly, tofu. Duck noodle and stewed goose in clay pot, or baked goose leg in charcoal stove clay pot of Tung Sui Hing Pachana, only see the front of the restaurant, you will be able to sense supernaturalism with fat goose and duck that are hang orderly. It started by father being Tao Chiyu, in Tia Chia means head chef, in Galaxy Restaurant, famous restaurant in the past. Because father had seven children, only with his salary of being chef at Galaxy Restaurant isn't enough to raise seven children, so he quitted to do something else to have enough money to raise all seven children. Father saw that 40 years ago, most noodle restaurants would sell only pork noodle and meatball noodle, but duck noodle was hard to find, so he decided to open duck noodle restaurant, but he had no budget. He was lucky that Galaxy Restaurant's owner was kind enough to take him to Yaurat Market to introduce him to ingredient shop for making duck noodle along with credit at the shop for father. Father got noodle cupboard from the owner, so father started with cart before moved to under two caverns building near Sap Han Luang in April 2018. Tang Sui Him Pachana Restaurant Sap Han Luang branch had to move, because the buildings in that area was being converted into luxurious condominium. So Tung Sweet Him Pachana Restaurant was ready to start a new legend not too far away at the building in Stadium 1 project next to Bantit Hong Road near Karo and Pull Intersect. Those who come to eat Tung Sweet Him Pachana Restaurant Yellow Bridge Branch said that it need expertise in looking for a parking lot, but there is no problem at the new one. There is a lot of parking lot and comfortable in Stadium 1 project, so we had to console grandmother because she didn't feel well for moving from Sap Han Luang since she started to sell at Sap Han Luang with father more than 40 years. We joke with her that customers at the new place can park car more easily and that's the reason for moving the restaurant, so depressing grandmother can laugh a bit. One of the customers teased grandmother that 30 years ago, he ate here and after he came back from abroad, he missed Tung Sui Hing Pachana's duck noodle, then he get to meet with the same beautiful cashier again, which that is our grandmother who still collect money in front of the restaurant with the same shining smiley face. Grandmother, 84 years of age, always sit there and collect money diligently. Nowadays, Tao Chiu or head chef who work in the restaurant with father since he was about 15 years old until he is a like a elder brother, is still the same one for over 40 years, maintaining food taste. Including restaurant's atmosphere, it will be maintained like that for those who ate here for decades and a lot still come back and most of them said that they are happy that everything is still the same. Nowadays, Mom is Kanak Pon Tangsintapap, second generation successor, sixth daughter in the seven siblings, with her siblings, inherited delicacy from their father generation. Ms. Kanak Pon told that while ordering employees who had been working in the restaurant as long as restaurants age. She is looking after the restaurant in place of her father who deceased seven years ago, leaving delicacy inheritance for her to continue. The origin of the restaurant's name is from the Sae Tung clan, and it includes Sui Song, which is her father's name, and Hung, which means good luck. Which is the origin of the name of the restaurant Tang Sui Hung. Many people are fan club of this old famous restaurant about Goose Palo and Duck Palo Tung Sui Him Pachana restaurant's delicacy is inherited for over 40 years, having duck and goose palo, especially egg noodle in many price depending on costliness of ingredients. Those who got to taste already must know that why this restaurant had been open for a long time. Tung Sui Him Pachana restaurant is a restaurant with duck noodle and baked goose in clay pot, legend delicacy. Coming here and order duck noodle, you can't miss the intestine. All ingredients are fresh, having good quality is instructed in ancient recipe, second to none other. Back then, 
Goose is a rare type of food, and today it's still hard to find. Customers flock to the someday will also have to be disappointed because they weren't able to eat, since the restaurant cannot buy any goose. There are some days that we have to apologize to customers because of it. Father took the goose paleo recipe from the famous Galaxy restaurant in the past and then adapted to be his own recipe and started selling on roadside. Normal people can now eat goose and don't feel broke every time. There are goose paleo, clay pot goose leg, goose egg noodle, and the crispy intestines to eat together with sour and little spicy dipping sauce to help with the meat's oiliness. Coming to the signature dish of the restaurant, which is the stewed goose in clay pot or clay pot baked goose legs and wings at 370 baht. Clay pot baked duck or goose has both meat and legs. After ordering it will take some time before you're able to eat, because they use the tradition method of baking in clay pot and charcoal. They are served hot and still boiling. A duck or goose dish, some restaurant might not be able to prepare them well, and there will be a bad smell of the duck and goose. Coming to the signature dish of the restaurant, which is the stewed goose in clay pot or clay pot baked goose legs and wings at 370 baht. Clay pot baked duck or goose has both meat and legs. After ordering it will take some time before you're able to eat, because they use the tradition method of baking in clay pot and charcoal. They are served hot and still boiling. A duck or goose dish, some restaurant might not be able to prepare them well, and there will be a bad smell of the duck and goose. But the clay pot baked goose leg and wings at Tung Sui Hing Pachana won't have any bad smell for you at all. It can be eaten with po egg noodle or rice, served with kale for you to eat and cut through the oiliness. The sauce is intense in flavor and can be considered a dish you have to try. Next is stewed goose wide egg noodle at 100 bath. Duck and goose are poultry that are popularly used for cooking in a variety of dishes, such as roasting in reddish, traditional Chinese herb braised, baking in clay pots and stewing. For ducks, they are boiled into noodles rather than geese. While geese are larger, plump, thick skin, denser and coarser than ducks. It is important that geese smell less bad than ducks. Therefore, it is popular to bring it to boil stew cut the meat into pieces, just stick with the meat and the skin. Dip with pickled chili is delicious. Next is stewed duck fine cut white rice noodle at 80 bath. The highlight is the mellow soup, not too salty, thick duck meat, and no bad smell of duck meat. The another highlight of the restaurant is the soup, a stewed Chinese braised ingredient that is a special recipe of the restaurant. Moreover, Tung Sui Hem Pachana still has other menu like duck noodle, goose egg noodle soon, dry egg noodle, goose noodle dried or with soon, intestines, every single dish are appetizing to behold. To get to Tung Sui Hem Pachana restaurant, drive on Rama 1 Road until you arrive at Charoan Pan 4-way intersection, turn left into Bantan Tong Road. Go straight 100 meters and you will see Tung Sui Hum Pachana restaurant on the left. For those who brought their own, they car can park at Stadium 1 project then walk to the restaurant. Tung Sui Hum Pachana restaurant only accepts cash and no credit card. Tung Sui Hum Pachana restaurant is 550 meters away from BTS National Stadium Station Exit 3. Tung Sui Hum Pachana restaurant is opened on Monday to Friday from 3 p.m. until 9 p.m and on Saturday and Sunday they will be open from 2.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. You can ask for more information at 
I accept all comments that are different from mine. Because, regarding the taste of how each person like, they are all different. Please kindly comment and respect others. I would like to tell you that every restaurant we visit, we pay the expenses ourselves. As for YouTube channel Thai Food Universe, we will try to upload videos every day. If you'd like to support and encourage us to make a special exclusive content digging deeper into Thai food. You can support us with details in the description below. Before we leave, please let me know what your favorite the stewed goose in clay pot or clay pot baked goose legs and wings restaurant is. If you love Thai food, please subscribe, like, share, and comment along with pressing the notification bell so you don't miss any exclusive content that dig deeps into more Thai food than anywhere else. Only this way Thai Food Universe 